Every week, the experts at Superior Pools of Southwest Florida share the latest trends in outdoor living spaces, including custom designs, ideas, and innovations. Watch this inspiration and transformation come to life thanks to our expert opinions and tips, and improve your own outdoor paradise. This is Home Sweet Home, presented by Superior Pools. Hi, I'm Danielle Krasik. And I'm Amy Hummel with Superior Pools. We are here in the beautiful city of Northport, Florida at the Krupski Residence. Wait till you see what we built for them. Hi, my name is Julie. This is my husband, Duke. We've been down here about one year in Northport. We came from Pennsylvania. When we decided to move here, uh, we decided to come to this area because we have family here. My sister and my brother-in-law live here. They have a nice pool in their yard. So we wanted to we wanted to get a house with a pool. So the homes that we looked at that had pools, they needed other work and we just weren't really up to the work. So we saw this home, it had the big kitchen, open concept living room so that there'd be enough room for everybody with all the kids and everybody that always congregated in the kitchen. So this way it was all open to everybody, but there was no pool. So that was one of the compromises that we made is we'll build the house, have the house, and later put in the pool. What we learned from my brother-in-law and my sister kind of helped us to what we wanted. Like They explained to us about the, the salt pool versus the chlorine pool and uh, the heaters and the, the pumps that you have at the variable speed. So actually we got a lot of information from everybody all around. So it was like a big help as to what we would want. And Superior uses all top quality equipment. Everything they use is top quality. Ben came out, measured. We told him we're gonna put a shed in. He made room for the shed. He told me he'd go back to the shop and he designed paradise for us. And we went down to see him. Him and Julie basically designed. She wanted certain things. She wanted the sun shelf. She wanted the big hot tub. Travertine was up in the air, but we liked that. Uh, and she wanted straight lines on the pool. She didn't want like a kidney-shaped pool. And uh, <laughs> he did, he, de he designed Paradise. He designed Paradise from the cage in, and Rob Duvall from MRT designed Paradise from the cage out. And he gave us Paradise. He was able to hone in on just what we wanted and... It was, it, it, it was almost like dealing with my brothers. You know what I mean? It wasn't like dealing with a, a businessman. It was like dealing with your family. So I like that part of it too. Same with Rob. Hi, I'm Ben Cook with Superior Pools. And uh, we're here today with Larry. He's our construction manager. How you doing? Finally got a couple minutes where he's not out building pools. So he's gonna help us go through this one and take a look at it. Yeah, I appreciate you uh, guys bringing me out, man. This is a great design. Um, this pool turned out beautiful. Can't be uh, any more happier than how it turned out. So when Mr. and Mrs. Krupski came into my office and we sat down and really started talking about design, there was a couple of different options and ways that we could have gone with this. Um, they have room in the backyard. We didn't use all of it. And it was really more about just kind of figuring out exactly what they were looking for. They wanted a good amount of entertaining space for furniture and stuff like that outside of the pool area. And with this extended lanai where it protrudes off of the house, an L-shaped pool works out great, which kind of worked out in a lot of ways because you get a, you get a nice size sun shelf incorporating the L shape. And then also with family reasons, they, the L shape had a lot of sentimental value to them as well. We have living with us four grandchildren that we, we've been raising. Uh, my daughter, she passed away about six years ago. We have a son back home and his wife, and they have a baby who's a year and a half old. So right now we have four grandchildren living with, well, we have two living with us, and the other two are in the neighborhood, and we have two great grandchildren. And they all enjoy coming over here, the extra space that we have in the patio, outside space, and of course the pool. When Ben came up with the design of the pool, and it's shaped like the L, my daughter's name was Lisa, so it was kind of like a little tribute to her. And when he said about the dolphin, and he showed a picture of this is what your future water feature could look like. And that was what she really loved was dolphins. So 
to me it was like he was honing in on my feelings and it kind of helped. Stay tuned for more Home Sweet Home presented by Superior Pools. Superior Pools of Southwest Florida have been building pools in Florida since 2001 and have constructed over 5,000 pools. From Sarasota to Naples, we are recognized as a top pool builder and number one in customer service and have been voted to have the number one pool in the world the last two years. A pool signifies relaxation and our superior designs and execution will provide you with true luxury living. Visit our Fort Myers office, serving Lee to Collier counties, or our Port Charlotte office, serving Charlotte to Manatee counties. Join the rest, build with the best. Contact us to start building your dream pool today. Based on tile, Tampa Bay's largest selection of natural stone. Specializing in travertine and marble, both for interior and exterior use, with over 20 million square feet of revolving stock, we're sure we have your project covered. Check out one of our exclusive products, such as tiramisu. Travertine, your ideal pool deck material, does not retain heat. Therefore, it's cool on your feet during those hot Florida months. Durability? Remember, it will outlive us all. Check out our newly renovated showroom in Orlando or our brand new 100,000 square foot showroom and warehouse in Tampa. Enjoying the outdoors is what living in Florida is all about. And at Absolute Aluminum, we're in the business of making your outdoor living dreams a reality. We can transform your space into a stunning retreat with open view cages, adjustable pergolas, outdoor kitchens, and many other products. Everything we do is completely custom, maximizing your space to fit your project with our extensive design capabilities. Contact us today or visit our showroom located in Venice, Florida. When we came to designing this pool, one of the biggest considerations was they have a lot of grandkids and great grandkids and people that they love to entertain. So we wanted to have a big area for swimming, splashing, and then we also incorporated a big sun shell. We looked online, we looked at the pictures, we looked at the videos, we kind of had a little idea of what we wanted. And when Ben came, and we spoke to him about it and I told him about the clean lines so that, you know, the kids jumping in, because they're going to be rough in the pool, so that they don't be banging their heads on the edges and stuff. And he kind of grasped what we wanted right away. The sun shelf, I knew they looked pretty, didn't know what they were called. And I thought that would be a perfect way, you know, you, you want to go in the pool and just cool off, but you're not putting your bathing suit on. You know, just put your feet in and it'll cool you down. So when he asked, are you interested in a sun shelf? And I asked, what is the sun shelf exactly? And he told me, and I said, exactly. That's what we want. We discussed putting the spa in. And it was like, yeah, if you're going to do it, do it when you put the pool in. And so we decided, yeah, that's what we want. Something you can stretch your legs out in the spa along with, you know, the pool. Big enough to float around, to jump around for the kids to play. And he just honed right in on exactly what we were asking for. And he seemed to be right on target with the shape of the house and how everything would fit and, our, and what our needs were, especially enough space around the pool to have some chairs and seating for everybody. That was a big thing, because to have just the pool and no place to sit didn't make any sense. One of the most important things that we did with this one was a travertine deck. Um, it takes more of a basic shape pool and it makes it look amazing. There's just clean um, lines all the way around. That's yeah, and we used, we used a, a bigger, travertine on this most commonly you see what they call a french pattern it's a five piece pattern and on this one we did a 16 by 16 brick which gives it a much more just sleek look i think i think it looks really nice and another thing i noticed too when you came up with this design is how this is angled off on a different pitch than mm -hmm. we have here so it's not squared off like normal um, sun shelves that you see in other companies you know everything we do is obviously geared towards the customer so you want to kind of explain to them what you did here with the spa? Yeah, so so another nice feature that they really wanted was, you know, especially for those wintertime days or day when it gets cold here, uh, there's there's a nice spa over here to sit in. You can heat that spa up separate from the pool, and um, it, it also gives a nice aesthetic feature. And something else we did with that that turned out really nice is just with to add a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of special touch was we put a little bit of extra accent tile up on the top of the beam 
and it just kind of sets it off and makes it look different. It looks really nice. Yeah, that turned out. Beautiful. I think he likes it too. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Picking out the colors for the pool is a little challenging because you're afraid that they're not going to go together and how everything is going to be. But um, because the pool is so basic and just simple, clean lines, we wanted the tiles to be the same. So when we looked at these, it was all earthy tones. It kind of reminded me of like a weather map or something like that with the blues and the browns and the tans. And it was just so natural looking. We went with that and then Ben helped us by picking out some of the accent tiles that they used around the, the spa. And uh, as far as the base of the pool, like we went through that, like what does the color look like after the water's in it versus what it looks like before. And you know, they walked us all through that and they're just colors that we like. We think they're relaxing, we think they're pretty and they're forever. It's nothing trendy that, you know, you might be sick of at a later time. This is a new tile that just came out. We don't have it on any other pools and it really turned out really nice. Uh, it's got a lot of shade variation, so each tile, is, none of the tiles are exactly the same. So by having a bigger six inch tile on your water line, uh, is something that I think is important because you don't have as much grout joints, but by using a shade variation tile like this one, you still get a lot of character that you would get from a smaller mosaic tile. And they also hooked up over here if we ever want to put a fountain or one of those pots that it looks like fire's coming out of them at night. Uh, there is, they put a water hookup for a water feature right there, of course. Ben was thinking about everything. Um, he put a future water feature in there because maybe we'll put a dolphin or something that comes out and the water spews out of it. And so that was done in the construction of the pool to be done in the future. Also, where you see the barbecue area, he decided let's put the footers in there so that when you go to expand in the future, it's already there and you don't have to dig anything up. So he was really thinking ahead on everything. A couple other things we did is they might consider doing some sort of water feature in the future. Um, that came up when we were designing the pool. So we incorporated what we call a future water feature. You just want to get all the plumbing and important stuff that's underneath the structure done while the pool is being done. You can't even see it right now. We have a piece of travertine over it, um, but it's there in case they want to add it in the future. And that's kind of how we do all of our design and, and with a lot of forethought of what comes next. With the equipment that we use as well, with automation and things like that, it gives you plenty of room to expand. And that's like this whole area really with all the construction going on. Uh, this, this area is really developing and, and starting to uh, expand in the area. Also, when, when I'm incorporating design, one of the first things I do is come out to the site and do a site visit and take, take a look at the house and how it's laid out. Now, again, like I said, with all this development going on in Northport, there's construction next door, there's a, a newer house. This, this was a newer construction house. And when they do that here, they build a lot of these houses up. So we work with slopes in the backyard. And that's something that we have to take into account when we're building the pool. So, Larry, you want to talk about like what we have to do to get this pool up to the level and back at the same elevation as the house? And yeah, basically um, when we come in, we're going to, uh, first thing we're going to do is, obviously we're going to scrape all the sod out. Bring our machines in here and we're going to, you know, tear the sod out until it's all flat. And we, uh, crew come in here and they're going to run our form boards. And in a situation like this, where we got a real big uh, back slope, you know, pitch going back towards the uh, back of the house, we're gonna have, you know, raised, um, our forms are gonna be raised up out of the ground, basically. So, you know, most places or most uh, pools that we're doing are almost gonna be flush with the ground. With extended footers going around the back of the house, we gotta bring everything up so that we're back to a normal level. And then again, like we're working with a construction site in the backyard. Um, so we kinda have to incorporate all this together. So at the end of the day, when this pool and this house is done, they have proper drainage back here. Now something else in this part of the town, a lot of these houses have wells and septics. Those are things that we have to watch out for. Like this one over here has a well in the back side. So I had to take that into account when we're building the pool. So they kind of limited them on space and that's where we 
tied in that L shape of the pool. And then again, putting the, another big key factor to the design here in space was putting this spa in this back corner um, to open up the space in the pool for a swim area because the Krupskis have such a big family and everybody wants to be over here all the time. Now there's a beautiful pool in the backyard. Now with this, you know, what we had to do is when we raised our extended footer, you know, obviously on the back side, we're gonna have exposed concrete. Well, what we do is instead of having exposed concrete and making it look ugly, we come back when we have, have it finished with some stucco to have a nice clean look. Um, it kind of, you know, matches, ties in with the house as well, you know, with having that finished, that finished look. And also too, um, on this back side with the drainage, we put this overflow pipe back over here. You know, with all the rain that we get here in Florida, you know, it's gonna push out that water and it's gonna properly drain. Like what we have here, we have a French drain with the rock, so it works out real well. So talking about a rainy season down here, I mean, it's, it's pretty bad. Oh, we get bad. six yeah. inches in 20 minutes sometimes. Well, in a pool, you're already full of water. So as that rain, you got a lot of surface area there, starts collecting water, the water level in the pool is gonna raise, obviously. We don't want it to flood the deck. So what we do is we put an overflow in the, in the pools. Um, it's, it's a pretty simple design, but as the water rises in the pool level, it comes out of our overflow pipe on the backside of the cage. So again, it's all about having an effective solution for a problem and something that doesn't stand out and look unsightly. Yeah. All right, so just one of the little finishing touches. With your pool equipment, every house is different. So there's all different types of scenarios, but a lot of people want to put, you know, a fence or block wall or something like that. A nice little touch that works great is just landscaping. They have the little shrubs that these will grow up and bush out and cover this from the road, from the neighbors, for sound, all that good stuff. It's just a nice way to finish it off. Up next, Ben and Larry discuss how they handle the challenge of keeping ahead of the construction schedule when Mother Nature tries to get in the way. But first, Jennifer Valentine and Charlie Logan are back to share what you need to know about your air conditioner's performance. Hi everyone, I'm Charlie Logan with Elite Heating and Air. And I'm Jennifer Valentine with Daikin. For Florida residents, air conditioning is a necessity, not a luxury. And given the expense of the equipment and the power to run it, it's pretty important that someone in your household understands how to care for it. So here are a few suggestions. I'm sure you've heard this a thousand times, but get on an annual maintenance plan. As we mentioned, air conditioning systems are considerable investments. Therefore, it only makes sense to protect and care for them. Having preventative maintenance twice a year will ensure your comfort, safety, and efficiency, in addition to helping you avoid costly emergency repairs. There are a few things you can do on your own too, like keeping bushes and other items away from the outdoor unit. Your outdoor air conditioning unit needs to breathe. If the outdoor unit is crowded by fence or shrubs, or the bottom of the unit is buried in mulch, it will restrict the airflow of the unit. This may cause it not to work properly by decreasing efficiency, reducing the lifespan, and may even cause permanent damage to the equipment. Next, taking the time to clean your air conditioner's drain line once a month can have a positive effect on how efficiently your system runs. The drain line plays an important role in removing condensation produced by your AC indoor unit. If the line isn't properly cleaned, algae and mold can grow inside and clog the drain. This can shut the system down entirely and in severe cases cause water damage inside the home. Changing the filter between professional visits by your AC company is another simple way to improve performance, not to mention your home's air quality. Now, if you're doing all these things on a regular basis and are still not comfortable in your home or think your energy bills are out of control, it may be time for a new system. The AC systems we grew up with were extreme energy hogs, and we usually paid a price for the cool comfort they delivered. Fortunately, times have changed, and we can enjoy substantial energy savings by installing and using today's more technically advanced and efficient cooling systems. One of the most popular advances in AC systems today is the digital programmable thermostat. They sure have come a long way. Early models were hard to read, hard to program, and just plain confusing. Today's models have a much more user-friendly interface with a large, easy-to-read LED window. Exciting times for keeping cool, Jennifer. Yes. <laughs> now, for a home comfort advisor to help you understand how to care for your air conditioning system so it lasts longer, call the experts at Elite Heating and Air. 
Thanks, everyone. Superior Pools of Southwest Florida have been building pools in Florida since 2001 and have constructed over 5,000 pools. From Sarasota to Naples, we are recognized as a top pool builder and number one in customer service and have been voted to have the number one pool in the world the last two years. A pool signifies relaxation and our superior designs and execution will provide you with true luxury living. Visit our Fort Myers office, serving Lee to Collier counties, or our Port Charlotte office, serving Charlotte to Manatee counties. Join the rest, build with the best. Contact us to start building your dream pool today. Baystone Tile, Tampa Bay's largest selection of natural stone. Specializing in travertine and marble, both for interior and exterior use, with over 20 million square feet of revolving stock, we're sure we have your project covered. Check out one of our exclusive products, such as tiramisu. Travertine, your ideal pool deck material, does not retain heat. Therefore, it's cool on your feet during those hot Florida months. Durability? Remember, it will outlive us all. Check out our newly renovated showroom in Orlando or our brand new 100,000 square foot showroom and warehouse in Tampa. Enjoying the outdoors is what living in Florida is all about. And at Absolute Aluminum, we are in the business of making your outdoor living dreams a reality. We can transform your space into a stunning retreat with open view cages, adjustable pergolas, outdoor kitchens, and many other products. Everything we do is completely custom, maximizing your space to fit your project with our extensive design capabilities. Contact us today or visit our showroom located in Venice, Florida. Larry, this one, you know, it is a rainy season now and the construction on this one went smooth and and pretty quickly, 21 days, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, it is pretty amazing. Um, you know, we, we try to get our jobs done within, you know, 30 days. I mean, that's that's our goal. Uh, this one went pretty smooth, 21 days, obviously, like Ben said. Um, you know, granted, we do have the rainy season in Florida, summertime weather, it, it's like clockwork down here, but you have to work around it and you got to manage your, your time wisely. And, you know, the good thing for us at Superior is we have in-house in crews. You know, we're not using subs from all over the place and we're chasing guys around trying to figure out if they're going to get my job done at a specific time. When I know when I send my guys to a job, it's going to get done that day. Um, that's the beautiful thing that we got going for us. Our construction guy has been with us for, you know, 10 years plus. You know, we got guys been with us for 15 years. Um, so they know what's going on. I can give them a print in their daily task and they go. They go to work and they get it done. It's construction. Things are going to happen. We're going to have problems. But, you know, us as a group, uh, with Ben being the uh, one of our, our best uh, sales guys and design consultant, you know, I can call him and, you know, he'll have an answer for me. You know, vice versa with, you know, John or anybody we got. Uh, we work as a team and we get things done. and. You know, that's, that's what makes it so, so great and uh, very successful in building, you know, absolutely, you know, beautiful pools. I mean, these people work really hard and, you know, we're going to work really hard to give them that final product. And that's, yeah, that's, that's what we're looking for. During our research, we came across the Home Sweet Home videos. And we saw through that that they really interacted with the people that they were building the pools for. And it was, they were part of them, part of the family. And it wasn't just what superior pools would think, this is what you should have. They say, what do you want? And it seemed like everybody that was on them, they were all thrilled. And hands down, they all looked beautiful. And there was no doubt about that. So if you wanted something that wanted to be beautiful, you wanted to know that you had their customer service them backing everything that they've done, that they would be there for you in the future and that they took care of everything. They didn't have a bunch of different uh, permits that you had to get. They did everything. And you could just sit back, relax, and jump in the pool when it was done. Plus, a lot of the pool builders, the reason they take so long is they subcontract everything out. These guys have all their own crews. The cage is subcontracted. The guys that put the gun at the concrete in, but everything else that was done here was done by their crews, which gives them the, the purpose of doing a 40-day guarantee or guaranteeing a pool in 40 days. Some people were 180 days to build a pool. Well, the summer would have been over. One thing I would like to say is thank you to all the people 
that did this, all their crews, fabulous. They built this pool in 21 days, start to finish. My advice would be the same as what I did. Go online, because there are so many resources online. Check it out, watch the videos, uh, gives you an option of what you might like, uh, what works for you, and just do your homework. I would say don't go with a contractor, a pool contractor, until you talk to Superior. Stay tuned for more Home Sweet Home presented by Superior Pools. Baystone Tile, Tampa Bay's largest selection of natural stone. Specializing in travertine and marble both for interior and exterior use, with over 20 million square feet of revolving stock, we're sure we have your project covered. Check out one of our exclusive products such as tiramisu. Travertine, your ideal pool deck material, does not retain heat. Therefore, it's cool on your feet during those hot Florida months. Durability? Remember, it will outlive us all. Check out our newly renovated showroom in Orlando or our brand new 100,000 square foot showroom and warehouse in Tampa. Enjoying the outdoors is what living in Florida is all about. And at Absolute Aluminum, we're in the business of making your outdoor living dreams a reality. We can transform your space into a stunning retreat with open view cages, adjustable pergolas, outdoor kitchens, and many other products. Everything we do is completely custom, maximizing your space to fit your project with our extensive design capabilities. Contact us today or visit our showroom located in Venice, Florida. Superior Pools of Southwest Florida have been building pools in Florida since 2001 and have constructed over 5,000 pools. From Sarasota to Naples, we are recognized as a top pool builder and number one in customer service and have been voted to have the number one pool in the world the last two years. A pool signifies relaxation and our superior designs and execution will provide you with true luxury living. Visit our Fort Myers office, serving Lee to Collier counties, or our Port Charlotte office, serving Charlotte to Manatee counties. Join the rest, build with the best. Contact us to start building your dream pool today. Based on tile. Tampa Bay's largest selection of natural stone. Specializing in travertine and marble both for interior and exterior use, with over 20 million square feet of revolving stock, we're sure we have your project covered. Check out one of our exclusive products such as tiramisu. Travertine, your ideal pool deck material, does not retain heat. Therefore, it's cool on your feet during those hot Florida months. Durability? Remember, it will outlive us all. Check out our newly renovated showroom in Orlando or our brand new 100,000 square foot showroom and warehouse in Tampa. I'd like to thank Superior Pools for building my paradise here in my backyard. And I'm very happy that they made me a part of their family. Thank you. We're happy to have you as a part of our family. Thank you for allowing us to build you this pool and letting us enjoy your family with you, these beautiful babies. So thank you so much. Thank you also. <laughs> if you're interested in having a pool built by Superior Pools, please visit www.superiorpools.com. Home Sweet Home, presented by Superior Pools, would like to thank our sponsors.